No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellator, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sends you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her! By your command.
Gods give me strength. for forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. My king, free of his madness now, as are we all. Free? Free to die? This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. I think I should trust you. I have no choice. I'm coming. Cadian? Scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. How many men died for our king? Their sacrifice bought him nothing.
Here, help me with this. First, we're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern an Akkadian. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy. Is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Over here. Only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword!
you teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Let me speak plainly. You are about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. They could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Well, wow. the briefing room? What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. 
I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. All right, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here, <laughs> chowing down on candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. This year would like to watch me get my sweat on. You want to spot me, little lady? I'll see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <sighs> shit me, right? No crap, it's not shit me. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. <laughs> That's my wife you're talking about. I uh, had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Brett, let's 
get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? The boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, 
This is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Larisse, let me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Now you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised.
Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? <laughs> 